via email and it reads, is it necessary to leave the city in the end times? Where in the Bible does it talk about this? I feel like many people right now with everything that's happening, people are thinking about the end times. People are focusing on things, on um, books like Revelation. So um, Dr. Yonker, where in the Bible does it talk about perhaps fleeing the cities in the end time? This is a, a good question, and it's one that we could also spend some time talking about. Uh, but we want to make one simple contrast uh, so that we can have some clarity about when it's time to flee a place and when it's actually time to help a place. Mm. And uh, you, you'll note that uh, cities appear frequently in Scripture, and, and it's true that sometimes cities can be the, the uh, centers of evil. Obviously, powerful people like to control cities and control people, so you know, obviously there's going to be some things there that, that are negative. Uh, but uh, you can take a city, uh, for example, um, you know, Jonah was called to go to, to a great city uh, in the book of Jonah. And you can read about that. And, and uh, he didn't actually want to. He actually wanted to flee from the city. Uh, he did not want to uh, see it uh, restored. You know, he says, those are a bunch of wicked people. I don't have anything to do with them. Uh, but God actually had a very specific message uh, for that city. And that was, you go warn them, go help them, mm -hmm. uh, go provide for them a way out of their wickedness. Uh, and the result of that actually was a very positive one for the city. Uh, and it was kind of surprising for Jonah. So, so that's one example where, you know, it's very obvious that God intends us to help people in cities, even if there are obviously, uh, you know, uh, you know, there's obviously sinful people in cities. Um, but, you know, you're asking about the end times. You know, that, that's a difficult question right now. As you mentioned, you know, we're, we're you know, struggling with a pandemic and, Yes. And obviously, uh, cities are especially struggling uh, under mm -hmm. the weight of, of this burden. Uh, but is it really uh, the end times? Is it really the time for us to necessarily flee the cities? Uh, I would say very likely not. Uh, and that is because these people actually need help and certainly will need yes. help uh, in the mm -hmm. days to come. And you can, yes. you can read about a time when there is a judgment, um, but uh, something like this may not be a judgment. Just to give the contrast so you understand it, you know, Genesis 19, verse 15 uh, you'll see that, um, you know, Abram and Lot had some experience in a, a very wicked city called Sodom. And it mm -hmm. was true in the story there. You can read it along in Genesis chapter 19 that God did decide that at that time uh, this city was going to be judged. Um, and in that instance, it was true that Lot needed to leave. Uh, and it, it may be true that at, at the very end of time when we're being persecuted, because uh, if you understand Lot's experience in the city of Sodom, it was obvious that he wasn't very welcome there and mm -hmm. was being you know, persecuted. And, and when that time comes, yes, it may be necessary as we near the end of time to, uh, for us to leave places where we're being persecuted. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we need to remember that the people that can be saved are the people that are in the cities, meaning that's where most people are. So we should have more of a Jonah's attitude right now mm -hmm. than uh, rushing to experience uh, lots of uh, time. Hmm. Yes. Now, Dr. Hemmings, with this one minute that we have left, is there anything you'd like to add? And and. And the text in Matthew chapter 24, 16 to 20, it didn't say flee the city per se. It says flee, leave Judea and uh, 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 flee to the mountains. It's still in Judea. Flee to the mountains. At this time, in fact, if we if we have to remember that all the great missions, both Old Testament and New Testament, place in cities. The great ministry and missions are in cities. Jesus, the apostles after, the center of mission was always the cities. Mm -hmm. And at this time, mm -hmm. when the, God's children in the world need us, New York, Detroit, these places, we now need to be fleeing to the cities mm -hmm. uh, because that's where the need is. The mission is, is, is there and it's ripe and it's, and it's ready. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to be careful how we <laughs> use the scripture yes. uh, that we do not flee the city for our own self-preservation, yes. but, but, yes. but, but for something other than that, we must mm -hmm. go now to the city because they need us. <laughs> Excellent. The yes. Thank you so much to both of you. I think um, the importance of both of your answers was to be able to recognize that we're also here to serve others. And even when we were talking about praying in spirit, always about not thinking about ourselves and even during this time, we shouldn't be focused on ourselves, but in helping others and bringing them to salvation. So thank you so much for both of your answers. Mm -hmm.